All right, friends, another day, another Tesla update. I believe today's update is the 5% power increase. But let's have a look. Yep, we've got power increase, auto steer, stoplight warning, someone with key fob, how to play with those. Your vehicle's peak power has been increased by approximately 5%, improving acceleration and performance. All right, well, let's see how true that is. Three, two, one. That came up fast. Definitely flattens out a little bit after, uh, especially after 90. So, the result of the 0 60 testing. So, on so this was done on snow tires. So before the 5% increase in power update, I got a best of 3.69, zero to 60, and that's true zero to 60. So that doesn't account for the rollout. Uh, so 3.69 on snow tires. After the update, the best I could pull was a 3.55. Now to put that into a little bit of a context, um, the best I could do on the uh, Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires, the uh, the factory uh, summer tires, and 20 inch wheels that the car came with. Best I could do was a 3.58. So I'll put these up on the screen so you can see it. So 3.58. So after the 5% increase in power update on snow tires, the car is just a hair, and really just a hair, quicker. 0 to 60 at 355 than it was on the summer tires. So I've got some uh, new tires coming in. Uh, well, tires and wheels are going on here in a few days. So I'm going to do some more testing. And I'm going to put 245s on the front and 285s in the rear. And we'll see what it does 0 to 60 with those uh, uh, Super Sport, uh, you know, Max Summer. Uh, performance tires and we'll see if we can't get realistically down to that 3.2 number that Tesla quotes now the number that Tesla quotes at 3.2 has to include rollout um, the car can't do a true 0 to 60 in 3.2 seconds I don't think it's it's just not possible um, all the all the uh, car manufacturers and most of the the uh, car publications magazines and whatnot they all use a zero to 60 with rollout, and I think that's kind of silly. I think zero to 60, we can measure it now. Uh, a real zero to 60 with um, like a draggy or a V box. So I think we can cut out rollout. And in reality, I think the Model 3 is capable of probably about 3.4 seconds uh, true zero to 60. And then, like I said, if you count the rollout, it'll probably get it down to 3.2. So. All right, guys, one thing I actually failed to mention is the actual difference. Um, looking at it, most people can probably expect, I think on average we're looking at uh, 0.1 to 0.2 of a, you know, a tenth of a second uh, off your 0 to 60 time. So I think doing the math, I got somewhere in the neighborhood of 0.15, yeah, something like that. So that's about what you can expect. Um, there was only a 5% bump, but even at 5%, I think that's, uh, that's pretty good for 5%, 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 off your 0 to 60. And as far as seat of the pants, I can feel it. Um, it does, the car does leave a little more, just a little more vicious, I guess. Um, you know, not nothing like, uh, 
um, Model S, you know, P100D and Ludicrous, obviously, but it does give a little more, you know, punch you in the back of the head kind of thing, if that's your thing. Um, then awesome, I, you know, feels great to me. And, you know, it's, the car feels a little more responsive. Not that it wasn't responsive to begin with, it just has this that little extra that that uh, 5% gave. So, you know what, uh, considering what that 5% cost us, which was nothing, uh, I'll take it. Anyway, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.